back to Studio Lou. I'm Cindy and today I have another journal walkthrough video for you. Um, this is the third in my series of vintage Richard Scarry inspired journals. This journal is made in an ancient history book. Um, it's like a, it was a textbook, a small textbook, and I just love the wear on this book. It was very old and has some really nice wear to it. Um, so I just sealed the entire book and strengthened the spine to give it many more years. Um, and so it's like um, a dark blue and the, the ribbon that has um, been used to close it is all eco printed silk that I dyed using rust um, and there are eyelets that affix the uh, the ribbon on both sides and they are punched through the book itself and so there's a look at the mouth this book isn't gaping wide or anything it's um it has a lot of room for expansion it has two signatures inside so let's open it up and you just basically untie the bow and it opens right up. So um, as with a lot of my books, I try to use a lot of the original um, book itself. So inside this book, there was this lovely, there was a lot of maps. And so I just left this. It has some of the original writing on it from the book's owner. And then I made a pocket here out of some of the, um, the maps that were inside this book. And of course, added some nice Richard Scarry images to it. And then this is a journal card that I made using more of the book maps and some Richard Scarry and this really cute bow. And it's just been kind of collaged. So that just tucks right in the front. And the first page is this little half page that's been painted. You can just write on it. And it has a little fern illustration. And the next page is this little hen. And then we have a pocket here. And underneath it is like a forest scene and this cute journal card inside. Um, this is some of the Richard Scarry book page and has some rainbow yarn that has been sewn down the side and the back you can write on. And that just tucks in there. And then just this cute bunny in a forest and a little squirrel chef on some marble dyed lined paper. And then a quote from a Richard Scarry book and this little pig cried wee 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 from that hilarious tickling game <laughs> that you can play with kids. Um, and on this side is some coffee dyed paper and I've sewn um, uh, some fabric down the side. And there's this little Lottery Nationale. Um, it's from a French Richard Scarry book. And a little squirrel making lemonade and this hilarious elephant on a tricycle. And this is some children's um, composition paper. A coffee dyed paper. And this is a pocket, again, using original book ephemera. And inside is this cute um, journal card with these fish, um, a swordfish, a shark, and uh, like a, another fish, um, like a flounder maybe. And then one little fish inside the soup and they're all wearing these cute outfits. And that's a journal card to write on. And this is just some uh, vintage balloon ride um, French um, paper. And on this side is another pocket with a journal card that's been collaged both sides. And this little pig. And on this side we have a turkey driving a little car. And this is actually a pocket with this lion that's dressed like a doctor. And it's a journal card with coffee dyed paper on back. And then just some nice orange paper with some fabric. And this little pig had none. And then this is the center of the first signature. And it's this cute cat washing these big stacks of dishes. And this little pig had roast beef. 
And we have a little cuckoo clock down here. And this is a pocket of hens. And inside the pocket, there's this cute journal card with fa a fabric loop on top. And this is just more of the um, the dishes from the, the scene of the cat washing dishes. And you flip over here. And this is just some painted space to write on, this little city scene. And here we have another pocket with a little window showing the moon. And this is the paper behind that. And a journal card of a crow sitting on a cat's head while he goes fishing. And this is a little um, tuck of a uh, rabbit making pink paint. And this um, little royal rabbit, it's a collage journal card. And we have more coffee dyed heavyweight paper and a giraffe and a little mouse with a typewriter and a turtle looking at a flipped over car and a raccoon having a tea party and some nice fabric ruffle here. And this is nice brown lined paper with this little owl looking at an olive and some hollyhock on avocado dyed paper and a little piggy bank a rabbit reading a book and this is marble dyed paper and then this is some painted surface to write on and just some nice Richard Scary images from book pages and then in the center of the two signatures, which are both Richard Scarry book pages, um, this was a map that was part of the original book, um, Ephemera. And so I took the map and just added this cute Richard Scarry, um, I guess he's a like a groundhog or a, maybe a bear. <laughs> I think he's a bear and he's wearing a cute hat and he's really sweet like um, Lederhosen and he's just standing in this lovely this lovely old map. And that just tucks right in the center as a little bonus and you could write on the back. And then there's this um, the same guy and he's holding this big tuba and that's a little tuck with a house behind and this um, bear wearing this lovely dress and that's a journal card. And a little pig driving a bus on some nice um, uh, paper that has like a, a pencil drawn bow. And just a couple little little guys here. Lots of writing space in these journals. I didn't want to make them overly complex. I wanted to leave just a lot of space for writing. But I still wanted to make them cute, so I included a lot of imagery. And this is a big pocket made from more of the map paper um, that was a part of this original book. And inside is Loli the Worm in his apple car, which is one of my favorite Richard Scarry um, illustrations. And it's on um, a collaged uh, journal card. And over here we have another, um, this is a collaged tuck. And inside is um, a collaged journal card. And that just slides right up in there. And this is some eco printed paper using red cabbage. And it's heavyweight watercolor paper. And a little bunny sleeping in his, in his little nest. And a fish on some interesting construction paper, more fabric, Lowly the worm again, and this is coffee dyed paper, and some purple paper with a pig playing with some trucks, and a little snuggly bunny with his snuggly bunny toys. And then this is like um, a city scene. This is the center of the second signature and it has the starlight star bright verse in the center. More bunny. And a lady slipper. cute book pages and some more fabric 
And this is a pocket tuck of a badger reading from a library. And inside is this little journal card of these three blueberry pie eating guys. And you can write on that and it just tucks right on in there like that. And some zinnias. Oops. And a cat with a big baguette. And a little construction project with a bear on this tractor. And some fabric. I love these fabric ruffles. I think they just really add a lot to the journal. They're really cute. And then this is a pocket using book ephemera. And inside is this cute journal card that's been collaged. And these are some of the classic Richard Scary Bunnies. And there's a city scene behind. And on this side we have a sort of a sideways pocket of a rabbit watering some tomato plants. And inside is this journal card that is more bunnies and some cabbage dyed uh, dictionary paper that's been collaged. And that tucks right in there. And then on the final back cover of the book, we have another book ephemera pocket with this cute um, hippo. And inside is this nice heavyweight journal card of this cat. And then the original book is also visible back here. This has been bound with fabric and a hidden spine that I have painted and inked. Um, and yeah, so that is the entirety of this journal. And it's a nice handheld size. There's my hands for reference. Um, and yes, yeah, so this will be going up on my Etsy this week at some point, along with the other journals. I'm trying to get all the videos out in the next day or so, um, and then I will be posting them. So check the description box for all of my social media, including my shop, and have a great day.